the Military Academy, it was 1859, and in 1861, bad news came. Louisiana had seceded from the Union. I felt like I was forced to move back north, because I believed in the United States of America. Moving back north, I was the head of a streetcar company. It was going quite well, until two months later. President Lincoln was desperately looking for experienced military leaders. He contacted Ulysses S. Grant and asked him to ask some of his colleagues from West Point to see if they would want to volunteer for the Union. Grant contacted me and asked me to be the head of, the U of a volunteer army. I accepted. My battles during the Civil War were at Shiloh, Vicksburg, and Chattanooga. After Chattanooga, I marched my men down south towards Atlanta. On the outskirts of Atlanta, I telegraphed the mayor and told him to evacuate all citizens because I was going to burn down military and government buildings. After the evacuation, not only did I burn down the government and military buildings, I accidentally burnt down the whole city because of the fires. <laughs> We just couldn't control them. After accidentally burning down the city of Atlanta, I did my famous march to the sea. greatest victory, but also my greatest loss. The Union attacked us at Chancellorsville, a small village on the way to Richmond, so we had to defend it at all costs. We were outnumbered more than two to one, two to one. but General F.J. Hooker, Union's commander at the time, left a weak spot on one side of his army. I sent Jackson in to attack there. It worked, and we won. But on his way back to camp, Jackson was seen by three of my men. They mistook him for a Union soldier and shot him in the left arm. The bone was fractured, and his arm was amputated. A few days later, he died of pneumonia. Before he died, I said, Jackson, you may have lost your left arm but I have lost my right. Um, yes. How did you lose your right arm? I was metaphorically speaking when I told Jackson that. He was my right-hand man when he died. I disagree with Sherman. I kind of think the same about war as he does. I disagree with Tanner about slapping the two soldiers. <laughs> well, I think Robert E. Lee could have served slave, could have served not believing in slavery and served his home state. And could have, I mean, West Virginia joined the Union and that's how Virginia was split apart. Part of it wanted to be Union, part of it wanted to be Confederacy. Mm -hmm. And I think he could have served his state. And, well, I think his mistake was joining the Confederacy. Mm -hmm. <laughs>